السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام uh, Hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way, I just finished season four Find your perfect partner Singlemuslim.com Proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle Love is being soulmates, really In Islam, marriage is a fundamental part of a Muslim's life it is widely accepted across all schools of thought that getting married is half your faith. Half your religion if you marry, and that is a huge thing that my parents also believe in. However, for Muslims, finding a life partner in Britain isn't the easiest of tasks, especially when you are observing the faith while searching. To find someone that you physically, mentally and emotionally connect with is so difficult. Twelve wonderful people have agreed to embark on a unique journey with us not only to share their experiences and struggles in finding a life partner, but also to learn new things about themselves along the way. I feel that I'm ready now to share my life with someone. I just hope that it happens one day. If I was to meet someone else, I'd probably take it very, very slow. Does marriage being seen as more of a religious duty distort one's judgment in seeking a life partner? I think you say you're looking for a wife, but I don't think you are looking for a wife. With divorce always being a risk, could some be about to make the same mistakes again? Don't look for someone who's like you. Look for someone who's going to compliment you. This journey isn't about matchmaking. It's an insight into how 12 British Muslims are dealing with the struggles of trying to complete half their faith. Women are not what they say they are. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm such a nice person. Meet 32-year-old Zane from East London, a singleton looking for love, fun nights in, and a good sense of humour. The once you get to know me... Oh, and a thick skin. You won't want to know anybody else. My name is Zayn Hussein. I am a very straightforward guy, yeah. I've been single for two, three years now. I'm an awesome griller. Um, born and bred in uh, East London. It's amazing growing up in East London. I've always had a job. My social life and my social circle was amazing. From Pakistani background, I'm very family oriented. My family uh, came over in the late 70s. They've done a great job raising me. <laughs> no, I want to find the one person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. It's written in the stars, mate. Everyone's got a soulmate. I'm just going to find mine. There are a multitude of reasons why two people from any culture decide to get married. Absolutely, everyone should get married and have a family. It's, uh, it's a beautiful creation, like when you, two people get together and they have their own family. It's, uh, it's like a miracle in itself. For some, it's an evolution of their relationship. Marriage to me means um, a life partner. Best friend, new addition to the family. For others, it's to show their commitment towards one another. Because I don't want to just rush into something so important. It's like marriage is the biggest commitment of your life. I don't think one person can make it happen. It's, it's a two-way street, just like anything else in life. I'm not just going to do it with anyone. I'm just going to do it with someone that... Someone that's honest with herself. But for Muslims, it's to find halal love and to become closer to God. I'm not saying I'm, I'm the, the most religious person on the planet. I mean, I try and be as good a person as I can. It's hard to find the traditional values that balance out with the Western values. So it's just trying to find the, the middle ground there. I don't need someone to tell me that I need to become more religious because that's something I want to do myself. It'd be nice if somebody's there that, that knows a lot about religion and uh, that can help me through it all. Or if she doesn't know, I mean, then it's uh, another journey that we can take together. However, there are some people who arrive at a certain age with their life experiences in tow, with the mindset that it's now time to get married and feel everything will fall into place when completing half their faith. It wasn't even in my chain of thought. Like, I would never even have thought about it. But now I think I'm mentally ready to take that next step and uh, get into the next chapter of my life and just see, how, see what adventure life holds. Zane feels that having a simple criteria is the best approach. Generally, I just want someone that I can have a laugh and, uh, and a joke with. Someone that I can just like sit down with, talk to, and she can just talk back. Literally just meet up and say, hi, how you doing? And she'll be like, yeah, you won't believe what happened to me today. I'm like, oh, really, tell me. Is Zane wanting marriage because he feels he has naturally arrived at the right age? I think my mum's been looking since I was 21. <laughs> so she's been on the search for a very long time. But for me, I think seriously, I've just um, probably like last six months, seven months maybe. 
or is there more to it? For me, it's very important that I actually come across somebody. That, that's why I won't waste my time with anyone that I don't see any potential with. I'll, I'll go on a date, go for a coffee, whatever, and if, if we hit it off, perfect, no problem. If we don't, within 10 minutes, I'll know. That's all I need, 10 minutes. I'm really that good. <laughs> Zane feels confidence is a key ingredient. I'm quite a confident guy. I'm, uh, I don't really have that issue where I need to go see somebody and I'll be like, oh my God, I really feel awkward about this particular situation. But I, I'm pretty cool. Perhaps Zane feels things will fall into place. So when the right person comes along, I'll be happy and say, OK, here we go. It's time. Because at the end of the day, he has the right intention. I want to find the one person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. Everyone's got somebody out there, you just got to be willing to find them. Speaking to a potential partner can be difficult if you're a shy guy. And I'll just be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Many factors can hold people back from finding a life partner. Women have their own barriers, obviously. They have their own um, reservations. Men are the same. Like, it's very op difficult in this day and age to just open up. The main point I would really say is obviously all these short marriages that are happening nowadays. It's like people haven't even got married yet and they're already divorced. I think that's the biggest obstacle at the moment, like just generally trying to find people that you know you can potentially have a future with. Where do you find them? Does Zane have a clear understanding of what it is that he is looking for in a marriage? In this day and age, it's so difficult to find someone that you're willing to commit to because she has the right attributes and qualities that you want to bring someone home. I just want these five things. Let's start with the most important ones. Respect. She's got to be loyal. Sense of humour. So important. Very laid back, easy to talk to, physical attraction. If you ask a girl, she'll be like... Is he serious? You work? I'll provide for you. They have these five qualities and the world's your oyster, so to speak. Do we sense a little naivety in Zane about his marriage prospects? I'm the only one in my family that's not married at the moment. Is Zane mature enough to handle the responsibilities of a marriage? Craig, did you get that? You, yeah. She's just going to have to deal with him, mate. It is, it is what it is. And compromise when he needs to. Because I'm so set in my ways, I won't change. Uh, for me, I will never leave my mum and dad. Bro, what about she turns around and says to you, but babes, it's meant to be me that's number one in your life. What about your mum and dad? It doesn't work with me. Have family pressures and his age forced him to consider it? Marriage is very important to my family. Then my mum and dad want me to get married as soon as possible. I was like, mum, I'll happily get married, dad, I'll happily get married, but... It needs to be with the right person. Does he run the risk of finding the wrong woman? I mean, even for a guy like me, there's always a risk that 1% might say no. <laughs> but, you know, it's hard. How do you find the general person? Is Zane marriage ready? As for me right now, my number's available at the bottom of the screen. Please give me a call after the show. <laughs> well, that's about it, really. Or not. My name is Aisha. I live in Dagenham. I'm from Cameroon. I am British. I've been here since 2004. I came here with five kids with no knowledge, English knowledge, and with nothing. And today I am who I am today. What can I give back to the community? I just, I am British. I love this country. Honestly, I do love this country. For those who have never loved, you can't miss what you don't have. For those who have loved once upon a time, either the heart yearns for it or turns hard. Aisha is 43 and a single mum of five. Come on, no, no, two. It's not far. If you want to be here at 3.30, start going by from at 3, right? Okay. If you want to be here at 3.30. What's the issue? No, because I wanted to be, she doesn't have a phone or no, telephone, so I want to know Only, where she is. I'll go in here and I'll be back at home. Yeah, 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 just wait. She, know, she knows I will be worried, but... <laughs> what's the, what's, where, where's she going? Swimming. So what's the problem? No, because she doesn't have a phone, so I wanted to be sure where she is, or what time she'll be back. 
that's it. <laughs> she has been single for a long time. I've been married before, and today I'm not anymore because of the main reason was because of domestic violence. And has been through a very tough time. I've been on my own for almost 11 years now, so I know what would be my life if I am with someone which is genuine and honest. It's not just about being a Muslim, because if you pray and hurt other people around you, what is the point? So I want someone who pray, but also who care about other people feeling. She has been single for a long time, but hasn't been idle in her searching. I, was, I came here in 2004. I wasn't thinking about getting married at all or anything like that. I, was just, I just wanted to focus on my kid, to educate myself, to get a better job. Her children are central to her life. I got my other daughter. She's 19. She's kind of typical teenager, English teenager. Her Mimi. Yeah. <laughs> she's like mom. She talks a lot. <laughs> and Fifi, she's quiet. I'm surprised because she's the one who's talking more. And she's very curry. You know, mashallah, is a good boy. 12 years, sometimes naughty, but it's okay. She has faced many struggles over the years including men who had the wrong intention. I went through a lot of physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. Yes, I suffer a lot. For some men, having five children, three of which live with Aisha, could be seen as baggage. I pray. I pray to Allah to give me a husband. Aisha's biggest worry is that she may never find someone again. I know he's listening to me, but my time hasn't come yet. But she puts on a very brave face. What if I don't find anybody? <laughs> Nothing will happen. I will just continue my life I'm doing right now. I will just keep praying until... However, she needs to have realistic expectations given her situation. What I'm expecting for a man is just be himself, a best friend, father figure for my little one, be genuine. When someone is genuine, someone is honest, it's everything. I'm not expecting anything than that. Will she find someone who will take on five children? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do. What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way. I just finished season four. Find your perfect partner. Singlemuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do. What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way. I just finished season four. <laughs> Find your perfect partner. Singlemuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle. In my profile, it's written that uh, I have five kids in capital letter. If it, that's the first thing I say, I got five kids. If this is going to put you off, I'm sorry, don't continue to read. Aisha is 43 and looking for love for a second time. And some of them, because they think Having kids is a, like a disease or a, a disability or a, a some kind of um, problem. <laughs> like, a, like I say, it's a disease. Kid is a blessing. It's a blessing from Allah. However, this time she has her heart set in England. Uh, the person that I'm talking to was from my country. After that, I was really put off. I say, why, would, why do I want to go through this again? Aisha claims to have had problems with men of Asian heritage. Brother from Pakistan are not really attractive to sister from Africa. They have I don't know why, but they are more looking for sister from from their own country, or maybe fifth sister reverse sister from 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 here in the UK. With five wonderful children and a busy home, will Aisha find her man? Wow! Well, I pray. I pray to Allah to give me a husband, and. Sometimes I will cry and, and then I say, Allah, are you listening to me? Are you listening? And I know he's listening to me. And then later I feel a little bad. I say, who am I to question Allah? You know best. You know what you're doing. 
the right time, my time hasn't come yet. And what I'm expecting for a man is just be himself, be genuine, be a father figure for my little one, a best friend, a mature person. I'm not expecting anything like that. Aisha has travelled across town to meet Salvet and Jamal to seek advice in refining her search. I like someone who's going to take me for who I am. I want someone who's genuine, someone who's sincere. I'm not expecting a perfect man, because there is not. Yeah. So I just want someone who's, well, if you are someone with high temper, let me know you are high temper, guys. Okay. So, so these are the problems you're facing, that yeah. you think that there are people that, A, they're not genuine. Yeah. Mm. They want a little secret on the side, they're already married, and yeah. they want a second wife, but it's don't want the first wife. Yeah. Now, I, want, I don't think I'm... I'm I'm impressed that you haven't done that because obviously that puts you in a not emotionally and socially in a poor, poorer situation but also legally in a bad situation. I've had very difficult relationship before. Uh, I had uh, I've been physically abused and emotionally as well. Uh, oh, it's hard. You're out of it now. At least you're physically out of it now. I went through a lot. It appears a lot of Aisha's pain has been building up over some time. And you're a young, beautiful, educated lady. You're strong enough to take the biggest step which was leaving him. Yeah? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. <laughs> Look, it's, it's, that's in the past now, right? Yes. You've left him and you're moving forward. Yes? Thank you. You've taken the, the biggest, the most difficult step was leaving him, mm. which you have been brave enough to do. So you've left him and now the only way is forward. Right? Thank, you. Thank you. The nightmares are going to stay with you probably for another 10, 20 years, but the reality of it is he's in the past now. Yes, You've thank left you. him. You've been very brave. You've done the bravest. The most difficult thing was actually to take the step, first step, of leaving that man. Thank you so You've much. You've done it. Thank you. I don't know. You yes. I didn't want to cry. It's I don't okay. Know. It's okay. It's okay. We're all humans. It's okay. So after that... You still that... look pretty when you cry. <laughs> when I cry, my nose turns into a cherry. <laughs> you still look very pretty when you cry. Thank you. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh. So, um, well, where was that? <laughs> Clearly, she is damaged from the past. I did not really want to go into any relationship whatsoever. Mm. I just wanted to focus on my education, focus on my career, learn something good and become someone, I give something back to the community. That was my main target because when I came here, I, was, I came with nothing, no English whatsoever, no zero palm, nothing. Uh, where I am today, Alhamdulillah, because mm. this UK uh, welcomed me with open heart. I'm from Africa, I'm black, I'm not English, if you could see. But they opened me like I was native from England. Mm. And then what I have today, Alhamdulillah, I don't know where it's coming from, but from Hala. But I managed to find my way, way uh, to be where I am today, Alhamdulillah. So I didn't want to look for any sort of relationship. I always crack jokes. You know, it's so important. Zane is 32 and looking for love in London. He's fast talking, confident, with a wild sense of humour. I'm aware of the situation, but it is the way it is. Like, people are who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Zane is wasting no time and wants to be proactive in his searching. He's about to have a chaperoned meeting. I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling a little excited about the meeting and a little cautious as well, because I just don't know what, what it's going to be like. I'm pretty laid back, so I'll be OK, but I hope the other, the, the other person in question is pretty similar. I'm just going to be me, to be honest. I'm just going to introduce myself and just try to have a normal conversation. Meet Raina, a 33-year-old civil servant from London. She has requested to keep her face off camera for the purpose of safeguarding any future marriage prospects. Uh, I've been searching for several years on and off. 
I just hope I met the right person. I, I, that's it really. There's got to be some sort of connection. Um, really difficult to say because I, I have a set of ideals, but if there's connection there, then you know all those other things are secondary. Things start slow with small talk. So you're a coffee drinker, are you? Yeah, coffee and water, that's it. More of a tea person myself. However, no doubt Zane will have bigger things up his sleeve. So I am into photography. I haven't purchased an SLI yet, so... Um, but yeah, but I do if like... If you need an amateur model, I'm available. What makes you stand out? Why, why should a woman... You know, what, 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 how, who are you and why should someone talk to you? I feel like Superman, like, uh, the sun gives me the energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not Superman anymore, is it? It's Man of Steel. As they both settle into the meeting, they clearly have things in common. So I told me I'd order you the spicy um, chicken, uh, the little chicken slices. You want, me to, uh, you want me to make the amendments over there now? You make it really spicy. <laughs> Can we get the, the chicken spicy for the young lady, please? <laughs> mm. So what do you like doing? Hmm? What do I like doing? Do, do you eat spicy food? Yeah. How spicy? I can go as spicy as it needs to be. Like what? Like... I don't know, give me an example. I don't know, scotch bonnet? Yeah, easily. What's the hottest thing you've eaten? <laughs> um... Have you tried a habanero pepper yet? Yeah, is it the green one? Yeah. The top of green one. Tabasco is my best friend. Yeah, Tabasco isn't really hot, is well, it? At the moment, this is all we all we got to work with. Things swiftly move on to the topic of marriage. So, um, what, you, you, um, how, why are you still single at the moment? Obviously, other than the fact that you've just recently started your search. Yeah, I, I haven't met the right person. What can you say to that? You can't just settle for. Any Tom, Dick and Harry. Absolutely. You just can't. And why are you still single? You know, to find someone that I can settle down with, have, have my own family with. But to find that individual in this day and age is very difficult. Because it's not, it's, it's, not like, it's not like what we thought. I don't know what you thought about it when you were younger, but when I was younger, I never ever thought I'd still be, still be looking, because I never thought I'd have an issue. They both seem to be getting along well. But one person is dominating the conversation with their opinions and thoughts. You know, but Apparently, according to uh, the elders, say the, the best way to a man's heart is through his, through his tummy. So being a good cook is a is a bonus. I can see that. <laughs> so you went past the three already. <laughs> you can always get healthy mayonnaise nowadays. Fat food. Actually, fat-free ones they tend to have more calories and sugar. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't, I've only just started looking seriously in the last year or so. Well, um, you've been busy with your career or something, or have you been like yeah, I mean, I was travelling all over the world? I, I, I do like my travelling, so I have been well, travelling. How many countries have you been to? Um, I've been to a few, just to name a few. So like, for how many is a few? Uh, like 10, 20, Probably five? about 15 maybe. Okay. Close, maybe 15 to 20 or so. But most recent ones were yeah. Japan and Mexico. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do. What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way. I just finished season four. Find your perfect partner. Singlemuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do. What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way. I just finished season four. Find your perfect partner. Singlemuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle. I think having a husband will make a big change in my life. Because I've been on my own for almost 11 years now. So I know the difference to be alone and to be with someone. So I know what would be my life if I am with someone which is genuine and honest. Aisha has come to meet Saravet and Jamal to help her think more about marriage searching. I was a eat and then she came with the husband. I could remember that day she was so happy. She opened her iPad and she registered me on this website that oh, took, yes. 
that's where I start uh, looking for someone official. That was five years ago, and then I just meet people that was not, was not so genuine. So have you met anybody that you'd like, but it didn't work or whatever? Yes, this America yeah. guys. Yes, I really because he's, he was he helped me a lot about my faith. He helped me to it boost my faith. He just helped me to be a good Muslim. Was he was a revered brother. And he really motivated me to, to practice religion. He was asking me to read Hadith. And uh, every single day, I have to come back and tell him what I read. They reflect I have on. Also. Why are you not together? With him? It's just like that. <laughs> it was, I wasn't meant to be his wife. He wasn't meant to be my husband. Aisha feels her situation is one of baggage, which in her mind is a barrier. You know why you have kids, like five kids, people just say, okay, I'm divorced, five kids. Yeah. So, do, so what? Yeah, so kids, what? it's like kids, yeah, we are not going to yeah. marry my kid, you're going to marry me. I want yeah. someone who's going to accept yes. me, Aisha, who I am. Yeah. What I'm going to offer to the person, what the person going to give me back. Yeah. Aisha's time has not been easy when searching. Because so what do you say? I saw your profile, yeah. which is nice, and I like it. I would like to be your friend, and do reply if you also like to be my friend. And what have you said? I say, I'm not looking for a friendship, I have already enough. Right. <laughs> and then he say, I want to build a relationship and not just a friend. I know we have to be friend first and then love later. Love us later. Love later. And then I say, sorry, <laughs> look for someone else then, I'm not. <laughs> it's true, like I met, I've come across some profile, they say, oh, I'm looking for internal beauty. Yeah. That time my, prof, my, my photo was hidden. And when I, I show them my gallery, they run away. <laughs> so, because I, look, I don't know. So, look is important, but it's not essential. Aisha seems very comfortable sharing her criteria with Sarovet. Have you asked any friends, the local masjid, any acquaintances, maybe people who. No, I just found that it's, it's a little bit too much. Like, uh, the problem Especially is. Especially if, yeah. for example, if you speak to the local Imam Masjid, mm. or people who work with that Sarivets, if I personally believe that Sarivet would be better for you. Instead of a born Muslim, I personally believe that a convert... How do you know? That's... See, I didn't say. A revelation from Sarovet has struck a chord with Aisha. It's because <laughs> I've been... <laughs> yes. Because like yourself, ah. I spent a long time looking for the right partner. Ah, ah, and I came to the conclusion... You're clever. Like <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's because I thought, yeah. you know, when you're in a particular culture mm -hmm. and you marry within your culture, there is so much baggage that the other party brings and you are then obliged to live with your, with your baggage and the other person's baggage. Yeah. I think you'll be better off looking outside the outside your own community. You just read my heart. And also yeah. because Rewit, well, no disrespect to born Muslims, oh, I'm yeah. born Muslim myself, but I think Rewit Muslims understand faith a lot better than we do. We just take it as a package that... You uh, said it all. Package. And don't, don't think about what people say. Oh, look at her, she's looking for her husband. Mm -mm. So? You're following, the, following God's command. Wow. I'm just surprised because I, I, I didn't mention it and, that's, and you said it, so... Has this new direction for Aisha created hope? I mean, in all honesty, I am a sun baby, so, you know, I like... I'm not, I'm not, I hate humid weather. Really? Yeah, I... Love I the sun. The yeah. sun makes me feel like, you wake up in the morning and the sun hits you in the face, it makes you smile, it makes me smile. Zane is on a chaperoned meeting with Raina. It's been a positive meeting so far. However, an eager Zane is still very much dominating. Hmm, Raina doesn't seem to mind. Away again to oh, you've been to Japan. I'd love to love go Japan. there. I can't man food. We eat a lot of fish, Japan. obviously, being Bengali. Oh, you love it out there. <laughs> Fresh mackerel. I'm, I'm not a big fish eater, but while I was out there, that's all I was surviving on, like mackerel and stuff like that, because that was the season that was there yeah. at the moment. I mean, food-wise, like you, I'm a bit picky, but like I said, as long as as long as it looks good and it appeals to my eye, I'll, I'm happy to dig in and knock it out. Really? It seems Rainer may be very cultural. Will this be an issue for Zayn? As long as um, the person, oh, she's, she's got to be a Muslim, that's the main thing. As long as she's, um, she's got the qualities I require and I have the qualities she needs, then ethnicity doesn't really make, play a part in it for me or my family. It's very easy going, very, very traditional but modern at the same time. At the end of the day, whether you're Bengali, Indian, Pakistani, whatever, you have the same cultural background as us. 
you know. So we have the same similar kind of traditions at home as anybody else. So ethnicity doesn't make play no part for me. So once once you found the person that you want to be with, or you can see yourself spending your life with, do you find yourself living with him and his family, or do you want to live on your own? Zain has thrown a curveball out of the blue. Um, ideally, I would, you know, like to live alone. Um, however, I would consider living with, you know, in-laws, as in parents only. So what you're saying is that living with the in-laws would be like the last resort for you? Um, so your, ideal, your ideal choice would be to obviously have a, have a place of your own with your partner? Depending on the circumstances, I would consider living with just the parents, i.e. the in-laws. But not the, brother, not the rest of the no. siblings? Well, that's cool. You've got to be honest about it. There's no point in doing it if you're not going to be honest. <laughs> religion is high priority for Raina. How important is religion to you and the partner you choose to be with? It is important, but at the same time, I wouldn't rule out an individual um, that wasn't so religious, for example, or if they weren't praying, because I believe, you know, connection, personality and attraction outweighs, you know, their, um, you know, Practice. I think marriage can change everything, basically, and you do need that unity and, and companionship to actually, you know, become better Muslims. Is Zain overconfident? People generally want to talk to me mainly because I make them laugh. One, yeah. See, you're laughing yeah. already. <laughs> Two, yeah, is because I, I look at the positive for every situation. So I don't look at the cup half empty, I look at it half full. Does that make sense? Three, I'm very family oriented. As the meeting comes to an end, Zayn isn't overly keen to proceed further. For me to be with someone, they need to be able to have that personality and sense of humour. She seems to have that. But yeah, I mean I think I think we can see I think I can see myself being friends with her. I don't think I can potentially see any future with her though. Why? Because I just I, I, I don't, I'm just not attracted to her in that way. So I think I think she's a great girl. There's no harm in that. She's a great girl, and you know, we can. I'm not sure we'll keep in touch, and we'll be good mates in that. But I just don't see anything progressing from there. Will Zane learn something from this meeting? My name is Junior, and I go to Bristol Bruno Academy, and I'm 12 years old. I'm Fifi, and I'm 11 years old. I'm Mimi, and I'm 11 years old. Aisha has five children with whom she arrived in England in 2004, and they have been her strength. I love to spend time with my kids because they are more, the most beautiful gift I have from Allah, and then they make me happy, and they put joy in my life. Joy in my life. Yeah. Well, she cares a lot about me, and she's really kind. Aisha has not wasted any opportunities in England. I love the UK. <laughs> yes, why do I love UK? I'm a student nurse. I'm, study, I'm trained to become a nurse. Look at me, I'm a nurse, I'm Muslim. I can, I'm a student nurse, I can wear my hijab. My university there, you could see a, the prayer room there. The college, you could go to college, you could pray there, you could do whatever you want to do. Nobody will discriminate you. It's not only about giving things back to the community, it's also about me. I wanted to, to do something for myself by walking, by get up in the morning, take my shower, drive my car to my workplace, show my, show my children that the mom is working and they could copy the mom with those examples which is not just sitting at home watching movies. It's it type of man like I want her to be with, it's a man who believes in Allah. Who, who's going to push her to, uh, in life to, uh, to progress in her life and, uh, and to take care of her and her, ch and her children. And um, she finds someone, it will just be better because... What, what, what do you want this person to relationship to be like with you? Um, uh, I just want him to be nice and caring. I just want him to be like the best father in the world. Do you need that? Mm -hmm. Find your perfect partner. SingleMuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle. 
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام uh, Hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way, I just finished season four Find your perfect partner Singlemuslim.com Proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle Since you are already going to be a nurse, why do you want to do something different apart from being a nurse? It's not really easy to, <laughs> to get into the police, but I still wanted to become special constable. My answer is I wanted to give something back to the community because I came here with nothing, as I say, and today I can say I have almost everything, alhamdulillah. She struggled very much when she came to England. When I, when I came to England, I used to be attacked so in many occasions be, be, by, by young teenager, and then another neighbor moved into the heart, to the area and she heard about the story because that girl was jailed. She got angry and she harassed me again and then she came into my house to beat me up in three occasions. That lady, she's quite chubby and I was skinny because I was really ill and then that what happened. But when she came to, into my house, Allah have given me a strength to defend myself. I did very well, and she ran by the back door. I'm, uh, my no, name's Jenny. Here. I've known Aisha for eight years. We live two doors from each other, and we've helped each other out with lots of different things, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Big troubles and all that sort of thing. We've been there for each other. So. You could come here and be who you want to be. Yes, that's why I love England. So you want to be a wife? <laughs> You could come to the UK and if you want to be a wife, you could be a wife, but it could take you up to 11 years like me to become a wife. <laughs> yes. Aisha's journey to England began way back in Cameroon. Love in Cameroon when I was a child was just busy playing with, especially my brother, my young brother. He, is my, he was my best friend, see, my best friend today. Her life in Cameroon was one of happiness rooted in religion. My father passed away when I was 13. My father was a medical doctor and he was also a, a good practicing Muslim. He, he started to translate uh, Quran into my own mother tongue language. Unfortunately, he passed away before he actually finished. And um, I really look up to my father. And I saw him, I saw him die and I'm so very well. Yeah, I was close to him. He's the one who teach he was teaching me how to read Quran. He was teaching me how to pray. And the one of the best moments I ever share with him was when he was asking me to wash his feet, which I enjoy a lot. And nobody could do that, only me. And that was the special moment I could share with him. I believe if my father was today, I would have made a lot of mistakes that I've made today. He would have guided me and, and um, I, I, I just miss him. And I, My mom, she's 75 today. She's a most amazing woman. My mom is my role model. She's, she's just a beautiful woman. And I have also a close relationship with her. The most beautiful moment we spent was when we went harsh together, my mom and myself. That was the best moment in my life because I had my mom for myself. We remember I got 10 siblings, only my mom and me in Maka. That was amazing. That was something everybody could dream of. Yeah. Aisha has continued her strong family values from her upbringing in Cameroon with her children in the UK. My mom is very um, keen on someone who prays for the family. So, someone that it's not just Muslim by name, but someone that actually prays their five days for Whether you come from Pakistan, where you come from in England, from France, wherever you come from, it doesn't really matter to me, as long as you are Muslim and you are practicing. She has been searching for a while now, 
and has had some close calls with some wastrels. And I have this brother who say that, oh, please, he, say, he was a medical doctor. He said, oh, I'll be my second wife. Um, I say, why? Uh, I was expected to say something more intelligent. He said, oh, because uh, you have five kids and then you've been single for a long, I feel sorry for you. It's going to be hard for you to have a husband. Yeah, he just said, okay, I'm not going to support you financially. I'm not going to give you any support or whatever, but I'm going to support you in a different way. That's what I said. And you're going to live in your own house. I'm going to live in my own house. I can visit you anytime you want to, but because I have to stay with my wife. It's strange because you, you don't expect that from brothers. Is Aisha starting to lose hope? I'm just me, man. I'm just going to be me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I woke up in the morning. I'm happy. It's when I don't wake up in the morning. That's, that's when the problems start. So, you know, every day you're awake, it's a blessed day. Can't argue with it. Zane is searching for love at the ripe age of 32. And he believes he will eventually find the love of his life. But I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. I, 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 I mean, I would, in the ideal world, I would, I would have been settled now. I would have had two kids, boy and a girl, you know. And, um, yeah, life would be a whole different kind of an experience and a different adventure. But it's an adventure that I'm willing to wait for with the right person. However... A halal meeting with Raina resulted in plenty of laughs, but not much more. Zane's earlier life was not full of roses. I was a very naughty boy when I was younger. The, the main life experience that changed my character or, or me as a person was the fact that I woke up one time in a hospital and my mum was standing in front of me with tears just running down her face and I thought to myself, what the hell am I doing? This woman brought me into this life and uh, she's taking care of my every need and I'm sitting here or lying here like an idiot and putting her through this pain and agony. Like, what, 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 what am I gaining from it? Absolutely nothing. So that one experience was like the biggest experience for me that I can recall that just made me wake up, to be honest, and say, you know what, no, this is, what I'm doing is not right and I need to change my ways so I don't put my family through this pain and agony. And um, yeah. I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm what they call now a reformed character. Zane has had a strong upbringing rich in home values. My, my mum and my dad and my brothers, my sure they're very religious, you know, so they do the whole five-time five, five time prayers. Um, for me, um, I try and be as practised as, uh, as I can be, but it's, it's a long road and uh, I haven't given up on it. I'm just taking my time to get to where I need to be. Hopefully, if I find my right partner in crime, we can get together and we can, you know, learn the rest together. Zane is very liberal when it comes to his religious views. Anything to do with religion comes down to the individual. And I'm not going to force anyone to do something they don't want to do. I'm easy. If she's comfortable with the headscarf on, perfect. If she's not comfortable with it, I'm not going to say, no, put it on, because it's something I want you to do. She has to be able to do that in her own time when she's, when she's ready to do it. One day, you might, I might just wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to start praying. And inshallah, that day, hopefully that day will be tomorrow, maybe later today, but when that day comes, it will just come, it'll happen naturally. I can't, if somebody was to say to me, everything else is fine, but just that one thing is what's keeping us apart, I can't just say to her, I lie to her and say, yeah, I'll start doing it from tomorrow. Yeah. Honesty is very important like, for any, anything to work. Marriage has been on the cards for a long time, but Zane has only recently started searching himself. Probably about the last six months, seven months maybe. Uh, I've been looking for it, um, but it's difficult, I mean... Searching has had its fair share of problems. The whole online experience is just... Uh, ooh, it's a whole different ball game now. Like, uh, I mean, you, know, you don't know who you're talking to, to be honest. I mean, you get fake people, you get people that are there for the completely wrong reason, may I add. They're not even on there for marriage, they're on there for... Everyone says that, you know, when uh, in Asian culture in particular, like the girls, where she's born is not her house. Where she goes to, that's her house. Uh, for me, I will never leave my mum and dad. Is this really the criteria for a life partner? I think it's absolutely disgusting when people leave their parents and just leave them alone and let them do their own thing and move out with their wives and stuff. He says he'll never leave his mum. Could this be the barrier for the future? So, tell me something funny about yourself. Um, I occasionally move my, wiggle my ears. 
But you're wiggling your cheeks. That's the way I wiggle my ears, that's funny, right? In my yeah, wali is not my is, is not my brother, he's not my father, he's, he's my son in law. Your son in law? Yes. Fair enough? Yeah. yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hey, do you pray? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I do. What about Game of Thrones? Do you watch that? <laughs> no way. I just finished season four. Find your perfect partner. Singlemuslim.com proudly sponsors Half My Faith or My Struggle.